Hey y'all, I'm James Setup, but you can just call me Jamie. And welcome back to another video. We're on day 10 of Vlogtober. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the community. Over here, I do lifestyle and travel inspiration. So if that's your cup of tea, I'm your girl. And for my returning subscribers, what's up my babies? What's up? Now let's get into today's video. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to survive or things to do to survive a scary movie. So I'm gonna be giving you 10 things to do to survive a scary movie. Starting off with the number one thing, going to check. Cause who really going to check? We going to check or you going to check? Not me, I'm not going to check for nothing. I'm not going to check to answer no phone. I'm not going to check no building. I'm not going to check no graveyard. Who going to check? Who going to check? Cause I ain't going to check nothing. That's one you don't thing you don't do in the scary movies to go check. Unless you want to end up unalive. Don't go check. You want to survive? Don't go check. Number two spot goes to falling. Cause why every scary movie somebody gotta fall? You fall, I ain't coming back to get you. You just out of luck. I'll look back at you fall and I'm gonna keep running right past you. We not know, falling, that's y'all problem. Y'all always wanna fall in a scary movie and then y'all set the other person up and then y'all want them to come back and save y'all. No, we not following. When you running, you make sure you watching your steps, make sure you don't trip over no branch, make sure you don't run into no tree, make sure you don't fall. We not falling, we, we, we not doing that. The number three spot goes to splitting up or breaking up. Notice when somebody splits up or breaks up, they always end up unalive, right? That's your problem. Y'all always want to split up and break up and go, will you take that spot over there? You go that way over there. No, we're not doing that. We're going to stick together. How we came in here, we're going to stick together. We, we'll be in a pre better predicament if we stick together and then we can fight off who we got to fight off. We're not splitting up. We don't do that here. I'm not going this way and you go, no, we're going to go do that. We're going to handle that together. We gonna go take who out together. We not doing that. That's y'all problem. Y'all always wanna split up. Oh, I'll take this, I'll take that spot. You keep your behind right here where I can see you. Cause you never know you might be the killer. No, you stay right here where I can see you. We can handle this together. Number four, putting your weapon down. Cause who gonna really put their weapon down? Not me. When I was in the army, we always had to keep our weapon with us when it comes to going to the range and handling any other business. Why would you put your weapon down and use a killer out there? Why you gonna put your knife down? Why you gonna put your gun down? You keep your weapon on you at all times. All right? Keep your weapon on you at all times. Cause how you know the person that you with ain't the killer? Then now you got to go looking and searching for your weapon. Keep your weapon on you at all times. It don't matter what it is. The number five spot goes to not not getting to the closest exit for safety. Not getting to the closest exit for safety. If y'all all trapped in the house and that killer in the house, why are you not going through the, well, why are you not trying to go through the, the closest exit for safety? So if the killer come in one side, you can go ahead and run out that other side. Y'all don't be thinking, that's your problem. How you gonna survive if you doing the opposite? Get to the closest exit of safety. That's all you gotta do if you wanna survive a horror, a scary movie. That's all you gotta do. Number six spot goes to assuming that the body is dead. Assuming that the body is dead. Repeat that again. Assuming that the body is dead. How many horror movies have you watched and the killer don't really be dead? You shoot him in the chest, but you don't know if they got on a, you don't know if they got on a bulletproof vest or something to protect themselves, so they fake it like they did. Instead, you just go ahead and hit them in the head, take them out like that. As many times killers fake their death. So why are you assuming, reaching all over this body, assuming that they did? You gotta stop thinking that somebody's in the clear because just cause you see, you think that they dead. You think they dead, they don't really be dead. You might think they dead and then you don't see, a, you don't either see a body or they, they, they might be faking their death. How you wanna survive? And you assuming, you got to assume that everybody is still alive. And I that show ain't about to go check and see if they did. No, once you hit that ground, I'm up out of there. 
No, we we not doing that. We we getting through this. We surviving this. We getting up out of it. Never number seven spot goes to putting yourself in a position to survive a scary movie. Now, I'm specifically talking to the black folks right here. I'm specifically talking to the black folks right here. Cause us black folks know not to have to put ourselves in a position to survive a scary movie. And what I mean by that is, what black folk you gonna go out there and let's go camping in the woods? Oh, let's go up to the Appalachian Mountains. Let's go to this building when we know it's a killer or a demon or a ghost on the loose. I dang sure know I ain't about to put myself in no position to have to be out here trying to fight for my life. So I ain't know no black folks gonna do that. You gonna do that? We not about to put ourselves in a position to have to fight for our life. Notice that every dummy that's in a scary movie, that's us. They going out, they falling up with the next one. They going to fall up with the next one and they end up unalived. The only person who I seen survive the movie like that is Brandy. And that's I know what you did last summer. The only person. I might be wrong or I can't think of it right now so you can leave that in the comment section who this color and survive the black movie or to survive the movie in general. But we're not about to put ourselves in a position to have to be out here fighting for our lives because we not we, we, we don't do that. We're not about to be doing that. Mm -mm, not today. No, I left that camping in the woods stuff in the military. I ain't doing that today. I ain't going to no Appalachian Mountains and, 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 and oh, somebody calling your name and I'm going to check and listen. Oh, let me go see what that is. Uh-uh, we not doing that. I'm going to stay my behind right where I at. In my house, cozy. That's what I'm going to do. You should too. The number eight spot goes to having sex. Having sex. Because who got time to have sex at a time like this? Oh, you just worrying about getting off. So the, the kill out there, but you worrying about getting off. No, we don't have time to be worrying about having sex at a time like this. We ain't got time for that. We, 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 we want to live and then once we don't know we in the clear and we living, then we can worry about that. Nah, we not worrying. No, 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 no. Having sex. When you notice, when you having sex in these movies, you don't stay alive. You be one of the first people to be out. Because you ain't trying to get it in. Busting nuts. Nah, we ain't got time for that. We not trying to have sex. And we out here fighting for our life. No, it's not happening. Somebody got something to say? Oh. The number nine spot goes to going to explore anything haunted. Going to explore anything haunted. What is the excitement in that? Going to explore anything that's haunted. I understand that you're going to, maybe it's, it's Halloween season and you're going to visit haunted houses for the kick of it, but you're going to explore anything that's haunted. You get what I'm saying? Anything that's haunted. Because I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina is a touristy spot. So downtown Charleston has a lot of things that's haunted. And I don't understand what people get the kick out of exploring these haunted locations, exploring haunted graveyards, exploring haunted houses. And at the end of the day, them ghosts want to be in peace. They don't want you up in their stuff and you don't know what can latch on to you. So why are you getting a kick out and wanting to go explore haunted graveyards and haunted houses? Cause I dang sure don't. You know what can latch on to you. You don't know how that person got unalived. You just don't know. So for the sake of not having to worry about things like that. Why go explore it and see? And then a lot of times y'all like to go to these places and take pictures. So then you take the picture, you see something that is not supposed to be in the picture or you don't notice in the picture. Cause there, there have been occurrences of things like that. You shouldn't have been in that dang old haunted house or that graveyard exploring. You shouldn't have been doing it. Stay alert, stay alive. Don't go exploring, don't go and check it out. Mind your business. Lead up people where they be. Lead, let them rest in peace. 
However, they, 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 okay? That's your problem. And last but not least, the number 10 spot goes to drinking or doing drugs. Cause you got time to be drunk or high at a time like this. You fighting for survival. You fighting to stay alive. So why would you want your mind all altered? Because why would you want your mind altered? You trying to stay alive. You need your mind clear. Drinking and doing drugs gonna alter that. So you gonna think, you're not gonna think with your mind. You're gonna be just thinking about something else. Oh, I gotta stay alive. Oh, you gonna do something careless. You're not gonna be thinking straight. So why play with your stuff like that? By drinking and doing drugs. You get what I'm saying? Stay alert, stay alive. But if you can think of any other ways to stay alive or how to survive a scary movie, leave it in the comment section and I'll check y'all out on Vlogtober Day 11. Peace.